<clears throat> Hello class, I'm uh, Mr. Pratt. I'm excited to be able to take this video for you and be able to discuss some of the basics of writing an essay here. Um, forgive me if I use the word um a lot and use the filler words. I'm just going to try to teach you how I would if you were in my classroom. Uh, I'm going to talk to you first about the basics about writing an essay. Now, an essay, as it mentions in the um, unit, the module there, it's, com it's a document comprising most of your ideas in about four to five paragraphs. Now, you guys have been asked to write a five-paragraph essay about how the point of view affects uh, the story that you're reading, or um, in this case, uh, it's, um, the characters been construed. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the basics of the essay, though. This has five main parts. You've got your introductory paragraph, your body paragraph, body paragraph two, body paragraph three, and your conclusion. Now, as you can see right here, I have it set up looking like this, the sea monster here. Now, this sea monster, as you know, most sea monsters have never been seen. You just hear about it from the stories and the, and the sailors and the other myths that are out there. And they're only seen in part. So imagine the sailor coming back from several months at sea, and he's trying to tell his buddies, his family, about this sea monster that he saw. First thing that he's going to describe probably is going to be the head. That thing's ferocious looking. Look at the sharp teeth. It's got little flecks of blood on there. Uh, I don't know if you can see the little flames coming out of its mouth there. This thing is ferocious. It's got claws or little spikes on its back there. It's got red eyes. Okay. This is like your introductory paragraph. This is the first thing that your readers are going to read and the first thing that um, really is going to catch their attention there. So the first thing that you want to do when you start your introductory paragraph there is get the main ideas in there. Get the enticing uh, stuff in there. Make them want to read more. What is going to make your English teacher read the rest of your essay and not uh, skim through it like he sometimes does for a lot of other papers. I don't really do that, don't worry. Okay. So the first thing that you want to gonna want to do is get yourself a hook. Okay. What is going to make the reader stay and listen to more? Now this can be anything from a quote, a cliche, turn a cliche on its head. For example, they would say that most people believe that fame is the root of success. I would argue that um, sometimes success is falling many, many times and coming back up again. Okay, A quote could be something from Nelson Mandela, anything like that. Imagine something that Morgan Wood Freeman would say in his deep voice right before he starts a movie, right? Um, and then we could have some sort of extreme example. Catch their attention. For example, you might say that it's best to let the forest burn in order to let uh, other trees and nutrients take place in the soil. Okay, the next thing you're going to have is kind of your voice and ideas on the subject. Now, don't ramble. Your voice and ideas are just there to give a little taste of uh, what's going on there. You might go ahead and uh, start building the idea of the dragon's head. Remember. This is the part where you can see the whole rest of the dragon. If you're standing on top of this guy's head, you could see each part of his body and this wicked tail here. And last but not least is your thesis. Now I put thesis in capital letters for the simple reason that that is your roadmap. That is your reader's roadmap to the rest of the essay. Uh, this is pretty much where you're gonna go ahead and state um, your opinion, the subject, and um, you're going to cover pretty much everything that you want to have in your whole paper. Again, you're going to cover um, <clears throat> the main idea, the position that you're taking, and some of the basic evidence that you have on the topic. Uh, if when you're writing you want to go ahead and save yourself a little bit of a headache, um, so you remember that throughout your paper, just go ahead and make this part bold, underline it, box it in, whatever. This is your thesis. This is so important here. You cannot deviate outside of the thesis. You cannot um, go outside of what's written here. Okay, and again, those main things that you want them is your main topic. 
your position, and some basic evidence. You don't want to ramble or go on too long here. This might be the longest sentence of your paper, and they tend to be run-on sentences, but that's okay for the thesis. Um, just make it sure that your topic, your position, and evidence is there. Now, make it debatable, too. It doesn't matter if everyone agrees with your, your thesis. There, I hope that a lot of people don't. Uh, your thesis is going to be really what gets people reading to see if they want to convert to your point of view or to uh, maybe email you and debate you further there. Okay. Now, the next thing that you have here, once you're done with your introductory paragraph, are your body paragraphs. Now, let's look at the main parts of here. You've got your topic sentence right here. This is like a um, piece of evidence number one. This is your first point you make to support your thesis. Okay. So, again, your topic sentence. That needs to mostly represent your point of view. Um, you know, number two here, you need to go ahead and... Uh, go from here to your first concrete detail. So I'm going to put CD here, number one, okay? Concrete detail, and detail. And now it has to do with your topic sentence. So keep it on topic. And then after you've done that, this can be um, something quoted from the thing. It can be an example, a specific example from your work. Um, but it needs to be something that's fact. It's undeniable. It's from the pay the stories that you've been reading. It's from the articles that you've been putting together. This has to be concrete. You can't argue with it. Now, number three here, this is where you can get arguable again. This is your opinion on it. Okay. What is your opinion on the above quoted material? Okay. Now, you might choose after your opinion, there's not much left to say, and you go ahead and wrap up your paragraph. But a good writer will go ahead and say, no, I'm going to go ahead and give one more piece of quoted material in here, and this will be my second concrete detail. So this will be concrete detail number two. Okay. Again, this can be a quote or example. I think the requirements for your essay requires you to have, I think, six quotes. Double check that. Okay. And then again, mention your opinion here. Now, I say mention your opinion, and some of you guys are going to go ahead and use, think, oh, well, it's okay to use first-person pronoun. No, you do not want to use I, me, we, or you when you're writing your paper. It wants to kind of be, imagine you're the authority on the subject. This is the way it is, okay? Now, even if you're wrong, even if your points are debatable, this is the way it is. For an essay, you are the temporary teacher for that um, five paragraphs. Okay, And then to finish up there, um, have a kind of concluding uh, sentence right here um, that kind of transitions you into the next body paragraph. So I'm going to say concluding transitional sentence. Um, Notice here I'm spelling sentence two different ways in two different sentences. I'm so sorry. So this is a concluding transition sentence. You wrap up the, the topic of whatever uh, paragraph you're in, and you begin to introduce the next little bit there to your second body paragraph or your third body paragraph. Okay, You're going to follow this formula for your first three paragraphs. Now, if you're writing an argumentative essay, I like to take the third paragraph and make this where I introduce my contrasting opinion. So you might go ahead and be writing an essay about the existence of sea dragons. Okay. Well, some people would say that there's no such thing as uh, sea dragons or sea monsters because of lack of conclusive evidence. I would argue that their opinion leaves out the countless stories that have been brought up about these monsters through many myths throughout the world. Okay, and that's kind of an example of what you're going with there. Think of uh, using your clausal sense. Um, think of like when, while, where, as, since, if, although, or because as your main um, um, contrasting idea sentence. 
Now, for your conclusion there, this is the last thing they see. This is like the tail waving goodbye to the sea monster, or to the sailors there. And this is the last thing that they uh, see about the topic there. Now, again, you're going to repeat your, your introduction in a way. So, kind of uh, reintroduce the main points. Okay, so reintroduce why you're right. The second thing you want to do is give them that last taste of your voice. Make sure that then you've uh, heard it one last time. Okay. Your last opinion on the subject, in, in essence. And last but not least, this is your concluding sentence. Now, concluding sentence is the thing that leaves it. Um, completely wrapped up. Now, if you use an extreme quote cliche or example, this might be the that time to reintroduce this because again, it, reintroduce, it uh, reinforces your last few points, your opinion, and your, um, your big ideas. Think of the conclusion as your introductory uh, paragraph in reverse. You've got your thesis at the beginning, your voice and ideas in the middle, and then your hook at the end. Remind them why it was that your essay was so awesome in the first place. All right, I hope this example worked for you and that you're able to get a decent start on your paper. You are welcome to go ahead and use the sea monster um, outline as your uh, outline for the, this particular paper. Again, I do one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six with the different points. One, two, three for the conclusion at the end. The thing about this part is you'd have to repeat that about three times for each body paragraph. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, and I hope to. Hear your ideas and read your paper soon. Bye.